Welcome to our final debate for middle school intro period seven. We have pro first Aaron versus con second Ara. Uh, leading us off, Aaron, whenever you are ready, you can begin. Con affirms result. All secondary schools in the United States should require all students to wear school uniforms during school. My contention is academic achievement. So point A, school uniforms increase academic achievement. So, principal at Crisp County High School who graduated from Liberty University with a degree in educational leadership, wrote in 12, school uniforms help students to better concentrate on their work. Caruso stated that students who attended schools that had a uniform policy concentrated on their education rather than their social arrangements. As a result of the school uniform policy, academic performance increased. Academic achievement is most important because of the impact it has on the de development of young people and students. Students who do well in school are more successful into the transition into adulthood and are more likely to achieve economic success in life. Okay, question from the audience. You don't see any hands, call it random. What do you want? Do you have any data to back up your claim? Yes, um, I have data from Caruso, who stated that students who attend schools that had a uniform policy concentrated on their education rather than their social arrangements. Um, funny. How do you know that improved grades would help them better transition into adulthood? Because improved, so like students who do well in school have a better transition into adulthood because it, uh, better grades helps the development of young people as they become smart and people and focus more on their work. Again, um, Russell Stallworth, who was <coughs> principal in Georgetown. Hi, that is time. Stand on up. <laughs> Benjamin Gates, resolved. All secondary schools in the United States should not require students to wear school uniforms. My sole contention is financial cost. So point A, school uniforms increase financial cost. Chen, senior studying creative writing and literature, University of Edinburgh. Whereas some parents believe that uniforms are more cost effective than purchasing the latest stylish clothes, other parents argue that the cost of uniforms is steep. Typically, uniforms are more expensive upfront as the parents uh, must invest in all the staples ten at the beginning of the school year. For example, their uh, collared polo shirts of various colors, khaki or black pants, black or brown and shoes, uh, and sol solid colored sweaters. Though this is an expense at the beginning, there, is only a small, there are only small expenses uh, needed to make during the school year progresses. So point B, financial cost is the most important because it will impact the, uh, the life of a student wanting to go to a certain school. Schools forcing families that are financially troubled increase the dropout rates and affect the entire family. Okay, that is time. From what I have heard you say, how exactly is school uniforms bad for financial costs? Um, because it's a big uh, expense up front. So I was saying there are just um, minimal, minimal parents or minimum pe minimal people saying that uh, there are small expenses uh, throughout the school year, but it's mainly a big uh, expense up front. Why do you think upfront expense not applicable to a non-uniform outfits? Are you saying that if you don't have a uniform, you're not going to spend any money on your clothes? Um, so outside of school, there are uh, clothes. You have more options, and you can uh, shop at cheaper stores. Uh, whereas uniforms, you only have one option, which are more expensive than your clothes. Do you have any data to support your claim? Um, I don't have any data, but I have an author. I have a good warrant and um, a, a case change. Sure. Stand on up. <clears throat> Answers two. Uniforms increase financial costs. One. Brink turns. School uniforms decrease financial costs. Chen, an avid education researcher, researcher as well as a writer who is extremely concerned about the current education crisis, wrote in 08. Some parents believe that uniforms are more cost effective than pur purchasing the latest stylish clothes. Uniforms are more expensive upfront, as the parent must invest all of the staples at the beginning of the school year. 
So this is only an, an expense at the beginning, and there are only small expenses that need to be made like this for your progression. Academic achievement operates by mental cost, because having good grades and being successful in school can lead to economic success in life as well as resulting in a better future. If you are economically successful, financial costs will be less of a worry. My rebuttal outlay my opponent's constructive because my opponent contradicted himself, saying that there are only small expenses to be made as the school year progresses, which relates to uniforms decreasing financial costs instead of increasing them. Any questions from the audience? Call. Um, no um, do you have any data? Um, I don't have a data, but I have a good one. Uh, you said that uniforms cost more up front, but once you buy one, you won't need to buy any more for the whole school year, right? Yeah. So why is that? Yeah, because um, uniforms are also durable, meant to be worn year round. So you don't, the chance of you buying another uniform be, would be really low because you already bought all the clothes you have to wear for the school at the start. Um, can you find? If you are really financially in trouble, how do you even get get into a, a school requiring uniforms in the first place? Because that's mostly private schools. Yeah, but mostly private schools. Some public schools also require uniforms. Uh, 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 hi. How do you say that uh, uniforms are meant to be like lasting year round? Like, what if you grow? Well, if you grow, your gro growth spurts aren't that big. You can't grow that much in a single school year. That makes you want to switch sides with your uniform. You say that since it's public schools, it's more expensive uniforms, but isn't that cherry picking? Yeah, it's um, not really because some public schools and private schools for training have uniforms. That that is time. Stand on up. Answer two: School uniforms increase academic achievement. Then turn: School uniforms decrease academic achievement. Voting a community news editor wrote in Oathman. Mandatory uniform policies have been the focus of recent discourse on public school reform. Tenth grade data was used to test the claims made by uniform advocates. The authors found negative effect on uniforms on student academic achievement. Uniform policies affect school environment and student outcomes by providing a visible and public school of public symbol of commitment to school improvement and reform. The Journal of Education Research found that uniforms actually have a negative effect on academic achievement. Financial cost outweighs academic achievement because students thrive when they can comfortably participate in academics. Being unable to pay for school uniforms could force a student to apply to a different school. Academic achievement is only possible if a student and their parents are financially comfortable. And my rebuttal is better than their constructive because um, I because they had a slippery slope when they said if someone does good in school, then they're automatically uh, they'll automatically be successful in real life, although that's not true, and I'm not flat on data. Questions from the audience? Call. Um, how is something from 2003 relevant to today? Um, there is, um, that's uh, not that long ago, that's only about 20 years ago, um, so not much has changed in just uh, a short period of time. You say that uniforms have a negative effect on academic achievement. Can you explain how? Um, well, there was data found uh, from certain schools saying that they have a negative effect, so um, there is data. You said that 20 years ago, it wasn't that long of a time, but 20 years ago, the, the iPhone was being invented, and that MacBook you're using probably wasn't even thought of yet. Well, technology is very different from uh, school innovation. So, you said you got data from a certain school. What is that school, and what did they do to get that data? Um, well, they found the academic achievement from students, so they, um, so yeah, there was a decrease when, when the uniforms were implemented. So, um, you're saying that the uniform policy affects kids by showing a public symbol of smartness, but uh, you had no data in, in your whole uh, rebuttal, and may I confirm what that data is? Um, so there are mul multiple resources, like the National Education Longitude, uh, a study from 1988. Um, there's also uh, other authors in the data, like uh, Holmquist, 
That is time. Stand on up. I wanted to debate because in your bubble, I have some contradicted himself and run against himself. They say that uniforms decrease academic achievement because they have proven to have a negative effect, effect on them, but extend cell O12. Scoring uniform helps students to more concentrate on their work, and Caruso even states that students who attend schools that actually had a uniform policy have seemed to better concentrate on their education rather than their social life. And as a result of this policy, the academic performance increased. They say that financial costs outweigh academic achievement, but academic achievement actually outweighs financial costs because having good grades and being successful in school can lead to economic success in life, and then economics and money won't be less, much of a worry. They say in their part comparison that I had a slippery slope, but academic achievement and has been proven to have a great impact on the development of young people and students and achieving economic success in life. Flip the page. Extend Chen 08. Well, many parents believe that uniforms are more cost effective when purchasing the latest stylish clothes because even though uniforms are more expensive at the beginning, you don't need to pay more at, as the school year progresses. Extend my card comparison. My rebuttal is better than my opponent's constructive because he contradicted himself saying that um, uniforms are only ex an expense at the beginning and there are only small expenses to be made as the school year progresses. Uh, I win this debate because I outweigh on impact. Uh, they said in their rebuttal that um, I contra They said in my their rebuttal that um, school that uniforms are more expensive up front, but there are only small expenses throughout the year. However, the upfront expense could uh, long term affect someone. Um, they said in their uh, and in their card comparison, they said that I uh, I contradicted myself, but there are only few people that said um, that there are small expenses throughout the year. Uh, flip the page. Um, extend uh, Bodine and Bodine com community news writer. Um, tenth grade data was used to test the claims made by a uniform advocate. Uh, and extend my card comparison. Um, my card was better because they uh, they had a slippery slope. Uh, uh, because just just because you do well in school, it doesn't mean you're automatically going to be successful uh, throughout your life. Okay, that concludes our debates. Everyone should be voting. Bottom right, bottom right, bottom right.